What's up, everybody? It's T-Biz here. We've got a new import toy from Japan, which is pretty cool. It's, uh, I think it's either pronounced Daritoku or Daritoku. I'm not sure. But uh, it's from a company called Epoch. Epoch. Got the horse and rider set, or or I guess it's just a rider and or body and whatever. <laughs> I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, should just get shirts made that say pretty cool. But here's some of the instructions for that. And here's some more instructions. Right there, there you go. It's pretty easy to assemble. Everything comes on a sprue kit except for the body. But with that said, here, let's check out the figure itself. It's pretty cool. It's, um, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, and whatever. But yeah. But, but yeah, it's, you've got like a three inch body pretty much. And it's fully articulated. You got these little joints right here. Everything swivels. You got a hinge. Hand swivel and come out. And head swivels. You can pop this off. Peg it right back in. Let me see if I can get it back in. Wait, hold on. Let me uh, get that in there again. There you go. Pegs right back in. Legs can do the splits. Got knees. Got it. You got you got pretty much a lot of mobility, a lot of posability. So it's pretty cool. Obviously, pretty cool. Got a horse body, which is pretty neat. It's a lot of articulation here with the legs and stuff. So it's pretty neat. I'm just gonna say that's pretty cool. It's got little handlebars for this little robotic horse, but uh, yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. And you can make a, um, I believe like a centaur. Let's do that real quick. Here's instructions for that. I can't, I can't remember. Is it a centaur or is it a? It's not a minotaur. I guess it's a centaur. But you see, and then you just like this. Peg that in like so. Whoop. That doesn't want to stay in. But I imagine if you wanted to, um, you could super glue some of the parts in that you want to keep super glued. Like some of the, like this chest piece right here, you could super glue that if you wanted to. So it would just stay in. But I like the, I like the posability of these. They're pretty cool. So yeah. It's a neat toy. I think it's really neat. And unique. And it's a Gashapon. I think this cost me like maybe 20 something bucks. I can't remember on eBay. It wasn't too expensive. It wasn't entirely too expensive, I should say. But I uh, just look at the legs again. The sculpt on the feet. But yeah, it's pretty neat. Pretty neat toy. I think it's very worthy. It's very, very worthy. And if you want, let's do this real quick and let's uh, get a body together on this thing let's uh if you have nothing better to do if you don't have to be at work on time or anything like that then just let's just uh do this real quick let's give myself a challenge on cam and see how fast i can get this guy together because i put one together talking to brother brian starner of toy nuts fame and also um overlord my buddy overlord and we're hanging out and yeah, I put one together and showed them, and they thought they were pretty cool. That's pretty cool. You say pretty cool a lot, man. You need to stop that. It's not, it's not pretty cool saying pretty cool. But I can't help it. It seems to be my catchphrase. Just like at work and in my social life, I like to say everything's hardcore, which some things are kind of hardcore, you know? Some things are probably just, you know, it's my adjective for a lot of stuff. Hardcore. That's hardcore. This, this... You know, this toy's hardcore or whatever. I don't know. That mayonnaise is hardcore. But anyways. They're just words, people. Just words. Alright. Just peg that in like so. It's going to take a minute. But if you have nothing better to do, or if you could go to the restroom, make a sandwich, and come back, and I might have this done. Or not. are kind of tricky 
All right, cool. Almost there. But we gotta put these all together. They're all the joints, basically. And just you gotta get them just right, or they won't peg in. There we go. All right, man. This is work just in its own. But I didn't think it would be a good review if I couldn't just, oop. See, this is where the power of editing someday will come into play, or be at least necessary right now, so. But yeah. All right. Let's try to get that in there. That's what he said, uh oh, let me see. Man, this is really, whew. Good golly, Miss Molly. All right, there we go. All those are put together. You get it. Let me see where the other instructions just so, because I kind of remember, I can't just do these blindfolded right now, but we're gonna go ahead and start putting the sucker together. So we've got that piece. And then what we do here is connect this one in right here. This pegs in, pop the head on. And then we can get the, they don't really show you how the joints are supposed to go in, but we'll figure it out. We'll just have to figure it out. There we go. Because one side seems a little bit smaller than the other, or my eyes could just be playing tricks on me. They very well could be. There we go. There we go. And then um, we need this piece right here. Pegs them like so. And then there's this little crotch piece. Like so. And then there's these. Get that in there. All right, get that in there. Now we need the thigh parts. There we go. There we go. The other joints. Actually, I'm doing this a little bit faster than I did last time, so that's not too bad. But I don't even know if we can find these locally. I went to our fancy schmancy Guzu Gallery by Austin Books and Comics, and I guess they were having like a little gallery party thing or whatever and I guess the storekeep was just too busy to interact or even though I mean the conduct business but I had to show him these on my phone and he was like kind of cool but kind of like brushed me off you know pretty hardcore at the same time so I was like man what a what a dingleberry I was like I like going to Guzu Gallery but they're super expensive I mean you can get like loyal subjects and all that crap there some cool sofubis and Japanese stuff, import stuff, suck lord stuff, all kinds of stuff. But they're really, I don't know. I, don't, I hate going to a toy place where they're just kind of weird. Or they're just kind of, you go in there and you're like, man, are they even into the plastic? It's like, are they even, are they really feeling it, you know? Are they really feeling it? Are they re really feeling the toy craziness? Or like Brother Ivan, the toy power, but yeah. But yeah, there we go. There's a body. Took me several minutes to make, probably over four, but it's a pretty cool little body. Very Microman-esque. Very neat. Super posable. And just cool. Just plain freaking cool. Yeah. And he can ride on his buddy. They can ride together in the sunset like a broke back mountain type thing going. But yeah. Pretty cool. Daritoku. Daritoku. I don't know how you pronounce it, but still pretty neat. You can get these on eBay. Hop on eBay and uh, look them up. They're pretty neat. Anyway, thanks for watching y'all and more of these videos coming soon. Whew, I'm breaking a sweat. All right, later.